and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm riding the ride one up cafe cruiser and let me just get by the stop sign then I'll tell you what I'm gonna talk about on this video So in this video, I want to talk about the three most common questions I get asked when asked about e-bikes. So the first question that will come up is, how much do they cost? And all of these questions are kind of hard to answer because there's a, a big range. How much are you willing to spend, I guess, would be the answer. You know, you can pay as much as you're willing to spend for one. You know, it can be, um, you know, I, I always say minimum of about $1,000 to get anything at all. You're not going to get much for under $1,000. Sometimes you can get lucky and get a good sale. For example, the bike I'm riding now, right now, you can buy this bike for $1,095. That's about as good as you're going to get for $1,000, and that's on sale. So if you wait, you don't want to spend a lot, and you're willing to wait a little bit for sales, then, uh, yeah, you can get yourself a decent bike for around the $1,000, or like in this case, $1,095 or $1,099. So... And then you can go all the way up well into the thousands. You know, you can spend 10000 or more if you want to. And so that would be my answer on that. And then... Not sure what that was all about, but I guess they wanted to park there, but they did a UE or was doing a UE right in front of me there. So after the cost, the next thing is how fast will it go? Well again, depends on your bike. E-bikes will go generally 20 miles an hour for class 1 and class 2. Then you can get into class 3, 28 miles an hour. Then you can get off-road modes that can get you 30 plus or even 40 or 50 plus. Depends on how much, how fast you want to go and, and where you're going to ride it, I guess. What you're willing to spend again So then after that, the next question I get asked after speed, how far can you go on a battery? And again, that depends on a lot of things. how big a person you are and the terrain that you're riding
the size of the battery how heavy is the bike How powerful is the motor? All of that's going to draw that battery down. So it's kind of hard to guess or answer. My philosophy on batteries is usually and it also depends, I should say, on throttling or pedal assist. My thinking on, on the battery business, I usually tell people if you're only going to throttle, then you're probably going to get one mile per amp hour. And if you're going to pedal, you might be able to get two miles per amp hour. So this bike, for example, 15 amp hour battery, I would say if you're only going to throttle and you're going to go pretty hard on the throttle then probably 15 miles but if you're going to use pedal assist then I think you could get up to 30 miles I should be able to that's uh, approximate and like I say that's going to depend on the on the rider how heavy they are or how heavy the cargo they've got on their ride it, it, a lot of factors go into it but those are the three most common questions i get asked and when i first used to get asked about e-bikes when i was first into this people would see me with the bike the rad rover the first bike i had and they would say now how much is that bike well at the time i got it they were fifteen hundred dollars new and that was several years ago now. And they would say, whoa, that's quite a bit. But you know now, when I say prices of bikes, not so much, because people are understanding now that they're not cheap, you know? They're not like a, you're not just gonna get a $200 bike or anything like that. that those days are long gone. You know, I can remember getting a CCM, you know, CCM in Canada is a big bike um, manufacturer company. They make hockey equipment and lots of other sporting uh, equipment. And uh, CCM bikes were pretty big, popular. They weren't the most expensive in the world or anything like that, but they were decent. And they were the bike that a lot of people would have, you know, and if you had a $200 bike, that would be something. That that was a pretty nice bike. We're talking back in the 70s. And uh, but today, you know, like I said, if you can get a bike, if you're willing to spend a thousand dollars, you can get yourself a decent bike for sure. So those are the questions that I usually get asked most commonly anyway i've gotten other questions too but those ones seem to be the big ones that i always get asked and so my big three questions are usually are a little bit different or actually a lot different i guess they're all different so my questions are size of the motor Pretty strong wind right here, I can feel it going right into it. So the size of the motor, the voltage, and then the controller. Those are the three that I, and then the battery comes next. What size is the battery? So. Really, I have four, I guess, because I can't leave one of those out. So I have four, and um, but if I was only picking three, I'd probably pick, like I said, the controller. What kind of controller are we using? What kind of uh, amps are we uh, talking about here? And uh, 
and then uh, I like to know how big the motor is and, and what the uh, voltage is and then I can kind of guess at how much it's going to cost because if you see enough bikes you get a pretty good idea of what you're going to have to spend for something and if you want quality stuff for example the controller that's going to be on the uh, graffiti x well that's the asi bac uh, 2000 controller so a nice controller It's going to be the best controller I've had on a bike yet, so... I'm looking forward to getting the Graffiti X when it arrives, supposed to be uh, sometime in August. So those are my three, and those are the three most common that I get asked. Let me know in the comments what you uh, what are your questions and, or which um, do you uh, get asked by people you know when you when it comes to when it comes to getting a uh, this guy's gonna be right behind me so I was gonna stop right here but I guess I'm gonna go across the street. So let me know in the comments below what your uh, questions are or what you get asked. Is it similar to what I get asked? And that's going to do it for this video. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for supporting us. If you want to be notified when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And like I say, if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.